Hey friends, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create for your e-commerce store a new arrivals category and show it off on your website. So if you wanna show your new arrivals on your homepage, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this video. Cool, so here we are on the back end of my demo website and on this site, I have a few products I've built. So I'll go to pages and I'll go down here to shop and it's a hot mess, but you could see here, here are my products. So I got this new lotion cream, I got this shoe, I got this watch and I got these products. Cool, so these are my products. Now I wanna add a category here that says new arrivals and then we're gonna use that to filter out later. So there's a few ways to do this, but the first thing I'm gonna do is just go back. Uh, I'm gonna show you where I came from. So you see it, I'm gonna go to pages. Then I'm gonna click on, you'll see the shop here. I'm gonna click on this settings wheel. Once I click on that, it'll show this button here that says categories. Again, there's a few ways to do this, but this is probably the easiest way to get it set up originally. So once I'm here, I just start typing and I'll type in new arrivals. Boom, just like that, hit add. And then it adds it to the sections here. What's cool about this too is there's these drop downs for these like subcategories. You could easily organize these. So, for example, this is at the top now, but if I want to drag it down here, let's say right there, I can do that. In this case, I do want to keep it up here at the top. Um, one thing that's weird about these dots, if you click on it, you drag it up, you don't, you have to drag it to like the center and then it actually works. There it is. So, it's good to go. And now we have new arrivals. Now with new arrivals, you'll see these three little dots if you need to edit the text or add something underneath it or delete it, you could do that there. But now we are done, we have new arrivals. Once we have that, I'll go back into shop and then I'm gonna go to all products. And then in here, what I'll do is I'll click on any of the products that I wanna add to this category. So I'll just click the three dots here, hit edit. Once I do that, I'll scroll down to these categories and you'll see organization here and I'll hit add you'll see that this is now in here. So I'll just check that off and then hit done, save, we're good to go. So now it's tagged as new arrivals and books. Then I'll go to the next product, do the same thing, tag it, add new arrivals, done, save, good to go. So I did that quickly, but that's how you do it. Then let's say you're creating a new product. Either you click the plus sign or you duplicate one of these. So I'll just go to edit and then I'll go to duplicate. And so now we have this new product here. Boom, I'll get rid of that for a moment. And cool, this is all here. And you'll see here is, let's just say this wasn't already tagged. While I'm creating the product, I just go in here, I'll hit add, and then I'll just add that in, hit done, and then hit save and publish. Perfect, now we have those added. Great, everything looks good. I'm gonna drag this down here just so the order is a little bit different. Perfect, now we have these new arrivals. So if someone clicks on new arrivals, they're gonna see these products show up, which is awesome, great, wonderful. But there's one other thing we can do here that's really valuable and I think will make your entire site experience better. Now let's go to just the shop page. Currently my shop page is set up a little bit, I would say this is a little bit dead. This kind of works, kind of doesn't. One thing you could do is you could go in here and hit edit and with 7.1, it gives you this great way of just adding in a section and going from there. In this case, I'm going to add in, it doesn't really matter if it's Fluid Engine or not, but I'm just going to add in a classic editor and just use that for now. Once you're in here, you click the plus sign or add a block at the top corner. You'll just click the plus sign and then you're going to do a summary block. So I'll just search for that. Boom, summary block. Now this is how you add a new arrival section. You could do this on your homepage, your about page, your contact page, wherever you wanna add it, you could add it. But what you'll do here is you'll select the, the place. Here it's gonna be shop, then I'll go back. Now it's just showing all our products. We wanna filter that. There's some metadata here, but I wanna do the filter items. And this is so perfect and beautiful categories, new arrivals, boom. So it's just showing the new arrivals now and we're good to go. From there, I'll go to design and design this out. I don't want it as a wall, I want it as a carousel and number of items to show three. Um, I'll probably just take it all the way up to, oh wow, okay. Let's just take it to full 
and then items per row is three. I think three is perfect. Then down here, you can decide the aspect ratio. In this case, it could be auto, but I like keeping it under a little bit of control. So I'll just do one by one. That's great. You can control the text size, the, the way the fonts show up, all of that. It says featured right here. It's super tiny and really hard to customize. So I just get rid of that. And then I'll just add text above it. It makes it a lot simpler. Uh, it shows the title here for the element. So title, that's great. Featured image. Yep. Excerpt, uh, that's a big explanation. Don't really need that. And then the pricing, that's perfect. So you can see all that. If you want to enable quick product view, which kind of works, I don't, you could use it. Uh, I don't often use it, but you could use it. Uh, you could do that. And then down here is just some more metadata options for you. So with all that, we're good to go. I'm going to go back into here. I already have a text box here, but you could add one in and then I'll do this new arrivals, make this bigger. There's an extra space there. There is, and then center it. Perfect. Now this is set up and then possibly this wouldn't be the intro, the intro section up here. Let's just select this for now. This will be shop our products. Perfect. This button would go away. Don't really need a button here. Remove. We're good to go. So not the best full shop experience. I probably customize this further, but you can see here. Now we have this section. Anytime you add something to new arrivals, it'll get added to the summary block automatically. You don't have to go in and add it. It'll always link perfectly. You don't have to think twice about it. It's really, really nice like that. Then here they'll have all the products to look at simple, easy and set up. Again, you could use that summary block anywhere on your website and it just makes the experience really easy for the user to see those newest products because newest products are really important and also best sellers. I'm going to create another video just like this about best sellers to walk you through that process of how you decide what the best sellers actually are with data and then get it set up in the same way as this. Friends, if you got value from today's video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells me that you got value from today's content. It tells the YouTube algorithm some fancy, important, critical information, but it tells me you got value from today's content. Next, if you want more resources for your site on Squarespace, anything from SEO to blogging, check out the links below. We have so many resources on our website and we're publishing new resources each and every month. So we have plugins, we have downloadables, we have free downloadables, we have blog posts, we have a ton of content, we have a ton of services, a ton of great things for you. Finally, if you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish three new videos a week. My mind is blown that we're publishing three videos a week. It is a lot of content, but we're doing it for you. So three videos a week. If you want more, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.